Hello, Leo. This is your reading for February 2021. Looking for new energies, positive energies for those belonging to the zodiac sign of Leo. As you know, I look for a positive reading, but if we don't get one, we always work through it. And I will be giving the pick a card mini reading at the end. It should be more focused on love. We shall see. Okay. Leo, summoning rising. Good energies, positive energies for Leo. Let's see, flip these just a little as I do read reversals. Let's see. Coming in energy. Strength. Some of you are losing strength and motivation for some reason. Maybe some of you are not feeling well. Maybe just, like I said, lack of motivation. We shall see. Mother of Wands in the past. Energy. Could be actual mother figure, someone older, and someone maybe not feeling well. Someone be short-tempered. All kind of reasons a card like this can be in reverse. But it also, for some of you, could be dealing with the Aries. But I feel it's like, I'm feeling like some of you are dealing with the mother image of somewhat. The obstacle, Ace of Cups. Maybe you're not able to start a new emotional beginning right now, something that you enjoy doing, something that brings you emotional contentment, and it's, t it's telling you to start working towards that. It's being an obstacle, so you're going to have to push yourself in that direction where you want to go. Father of Pentacles, some of you may be dealing with a earth sign, but it doesn't have to be. It could be a father-like figure. Again, something is unstable in the situation. I'm not saying they're crazy. I'm not saying anything like that. I'm saying something a little bit wrong with somebody that's around you a little bit older. Um, the masculine nature, okay? What's coming towards you, Leo? The Wheel of Fortune. Things will start turning in your favor, even though the world is a little off right now, okay? In the end, the Four of Pentacles. Um, you're going to have to start saving money. It's showing me here that you have trouble overspending or you may have trouble, like I said, saving. But like I said, the situation coming towards you is going to change and you're supposed to be working towards that Ace of Cups. Let me see if it'll tell me a little bit more, okay, with the Mother of Wands in, re in reverse. Now, like I said, I'll be doing the pick a card reading and do with love, but you're dealing with other people around you. And it's kind of like interfering with what you need to do to get your new emotional beginning. And like I said, some of you may be overspending or not able to save, but it will turn around. Mother of Wands in reverse. I need two cards, please, for Leo. Yeah, the Magician manifesting what you need to do. That has to do with the Mother of Wands, Three of Earth. And trying to you're trying to work with this person or situation around you where... You need to help them for some reason. I feel like you're helping people or putting other people first because you have to. It's like you're working with other people and it's kind of like setting you back a little. I'm not saying that you shouldn't do it. I'm just saying that it's got things put on like the burner for you, you know, in the back burner. So the Ace of Cups in reverse, which you're supposed to be working towards this new beginning that, you know, that you'll like, you know, I need two cards for that. You can see what that says. It's nine of water. It's a little vague there. It's hard to see some of these cards sometimes. And the judgment. Making a final decision to go for a wish fulfillment. It's one of these things where, like I said, you're helping other people out. You're doing what other people want you to do. But it's saying that you need to make a final decision to actually go towards what you need to do to make you have wish fulfillment also. I know it will turn around into your favor. Don't worry. I do know that you just can't always walk away from something right away, but eventually you will have to make a decision where you really want to go. So you've got the Father of Pentacles as the current environment. It could be a male figure in your life or, so, or a father-like figure, but something's not real stable with them either. So I need two cards with the Father of Pentacles in reverse. Eight of water, having trouble walking away from the Father of Pentacles, it looks like. The Empress, or the Empress, is that the Empress? It's hard to see. See, the writing is really kind of vague as the Empress. So, yeah, walking away from a situation is no longer bringing you growth. That's what it's saying, the current environment. You may be thinking about this. You may think that it's something you may need to do in the future because that's what you're thinking about doing, making a final decision. Because what's coming towards you is that your situation is going to change up, okay? Leo, it's going to change up. And, and the Wheel of Fortune is, you know, it's a Jupiter card. Um, for a lot of you, you're feeling the strong energy because, as you know, they're having conjunctions with Jupiter all over the place. And um, it's opposite your sign, so it's mirroring you in some way. Yeah, two of fire. You're going to have to make a decision. 
It's going to change into your favor, but you're going to make a decision because you're like hey, holding back a little. You're holding back. but And, and I think, like, like I said, you got things interfering. You get, feel like you got obligations, um, Leo. But eventually things are going to turn around and make you into, force you into a decision. Even though it took its time coming, what you're wanting to do, you are going to make a final decision what you need to do to move forward. Even though you're still dealing with people over here, you're thinking about, well, I need to survive. That's what I'm feeling, and I need to make a decision because you need you need to start ma making money and saving money again because that's kind of like hindering you from making money over, you know, doing this over here. So the Four of Pentacles, I need two cards because it's in reverse. You just start saving your pennies, you know, and your coin, and your dollars. So I need two cards for that. Yeah, it's time to release things that are got you chained down. That's what it's showing me. Queen of Earth, Earth, Water. Some of you can be down definitely with the older Earth sign. Earth, Water. I see fire here. You know, your own sign here. But I see also where you got to go towards what is stable also. That's what I'm seeing. it And release things that are holding you back. Things that are chaining you down and going for that money situation so you can be happy. Okay, now let me see what I give some love here. Or, you know, it's, I'm going for love here, but it may tell me something else. But I got two love angel type decks here. Um, for Leo, Sun, Moon, and Rising, February 2021. Need to know about something more of the romantic nature. But I do feel like things are going to turn around for you when it comes to your whole life situation. What you were doing before, I think, is going to be a major change, Leo. You just got to decide uh, when to do it. When to walk away from situations that aren't bringing growth. But I need three cards for Leo Sun Moon Rising, February 2021, from the Love Angel cards. Let's see what's going on here. Oops. Hope I got all these in the screen. Last couple ones I didn't have in the screen very well. Three cards from the Angel Answers. Angels give us what we need to know for Leo Sun Moon Rising, 2021. February 2021. Three cards for the pick a card reading. And three cards from the Moonology. And then we'll get with it. Okay. For Leo, Summon Arising 2021. And for new energies, hopefully positive energies. For February 2021, pick a card reading for Leo. Okay, you choose this section, okay, over here. And remember, you know, you choose or you pick whatever you feel most drawn to. That will be the strongest energy, but I bring them all together at the end for secondary energies because a lot of times they do relate. Oftentimes they do. Let go of control issues with things because I think these are holding you back. I think the control issues are the things you're trying to work with, you know, trying to do your part, trying to put other people first. So you may have to let go of that situation, okay? And it's about improving your health and improving yourself so you stay healthy. I think this is going to make you, if you don't let go of things that are holding you back, it may um, um, mess with your health a little bit, okay? Your dreams need a practical plan. Four pentacles in reverse. Start planning. Start saving your money and get real frugal because your situation is going to change soon and you're going to go a different direction, I believe. A lot of passion for somebody or someone does for you. Or you have a passionate situation coming up that will bring ab abundance, okay? Don't let pride get in your way. I think someone wants to help you or be there for you. But you may, like, put up your barriers or or for, maybe with good reason. But I feel like someone was a passionate beginning with you. Something that could bring a lot of abundance, a lot of love. But you may be a little prideful. Maybe because um, you don't like putting your yourself out there too much for people to take advantage. Or whatever the reason is. Is saying let people in, more or less. Okay? You're dealing with deceptions. You feel like you're dealing with deceptions. And it says, um, actually, no right now. Okay? And bring love into the situation. So what I'm seeing is that you feel like someone may deceive you that's coming in. That I feel it's a love situation bringing these all together. I do not think they are. Okay? You may feel like someone's being like, you know, sneaky or not honest, you know. And you feel like you may not trust them. But it says, are they deceptive? No. Bring love into the situation. Okay? It's time to let go of control situations. Just let things happen. 
where before maybe you had a good reason, you probably still, but saying let go and, you know, let go, let God, let it happen, you know, whatever your belief system is, and passion will come in again. Not everybody that's going to be coming in is trying to deceive you, even though maybe before they did. I feel like a lot of you did get were deceived with a lot of people but it's saying you know let go of that stuff you know the the things that hurt you because if you do your health will improve if you hold on to the past and negative situations it'll affect your health in a, in a bad way it won't be good but if you let those things go you know and bring in good things the passions in your life again let good people come in let people that want to be with you come in and you'll have abundance in it okay not everybody's trying to deceive you your dreams need a practical plan become practical especially when it comes to money and your life stability. Be very practical. Don't let emotions get in the way, okay? Don't let life, outside life, get in the way. Plan everything, okay? And don't let your pride get in the way. If you want to ask somebody for help, you want to let someone come in that says to do so because love will come in the situation. Bring the love in, okay? If you bring it in, it will be there. Not The person I think is coming towards you, it could have this to do with this decision-making which you're going to come in, um, for you to go forward to it's going to bring a good fortune for you it's up to you whether you make the decision but you may hold back a little don't let it hold you back too long don't try to over control a situation is what it's trying to tell you here go towards your passions not everybody's going to mess you over especially in this section let go of the negatives go forward to the positives things that will be there for you and you know your your situation will turn around okay i'll talk to you guys later i'll upload this soon bye <music>